Hi, it's Rich Tarani. We're at CTIA 2010 in Las Vegas. Thanks for watching. On our program today is Emilio Franchi, who is the senior product manager of the uh, microwave measurement division of Anritsu. Uh, Emilio, hi. Hi, you doing, Rich? Thanks for being on the program. Thank you. Do uh, you want to just give a quick overview on your company, please? Yes, we're a um, test and measurement company. Sure. We have uh, both, uh, uh, wh where I work at, we do a lot of handheld products, so things that are taken out in the field by technicians to test and maintain the networks. We also have a division that does all of the uh, UE testing, so R&D development. So we kind of have to get, run the gamut of uh, testing for uh, all of the different providers and uh, uh, research and development also. So that's exciting because yeah. there's just so much new technology out there in the wireless space. Exactly. And you've always got to be on top of it. And I think uh, probably the most recent uh, development is probably the 4G space. Correct. And but I know you play there, right? Right. We, so we, we, we started with uh, WiMAX. That's a couple of years ago. Uh, and since then, now we've, uh, last, late last year, we introduced our first LTE release, supported 10 megahertz uh, bandwidths. And actually at the show today, we're uh, actually showing our, uh, basically we're supporting all of the bandwidths up to 20 megahertz. Excellent, and uh, you have a customer win, if I'm not mistaken, correct? Yes, we do. So today, we were uh, Verizon announced that uh, they had chosen Anritsu's BTS Master as their tool for uh, testing their LTE networks for their uh, nationwide rollout, starting with Boston and Seattle. Excellent. So, yeah. do you have any idea about how much equipment that is, or is it you're, you're not even sure? Uh, not, that, not, not quite sure. I think that it really depends. But it's kind of in their hands. Exactly. As to, as to how much they buy. But we're very, very happy that they chose our solution. Well, congratulations. Yeah, Obviously, not a small customer. No, no definitely not. <laughs> so, uh, that's great. And I know that they're really, um, they were on the program a little bit earlier today, and, and they're really making uh, tremendous investments right now in LTE exactly. and just ensuring that their future network is as solid as their existing exactly. network. Sure. And um, as I actually discussed with them, what, what we know is driving all this is not only the smartphones, but I, I get the sense that the smart tablets um, between the, uh, the Slate coming out from HP and the iPad and a slew of Android-based tablets are going to exponentially drive data rates even further than we think. Yeah, and I think data really is what's driving everything right now. So the, the throughput and the bandwidths for, for high-speed data. I'm just thinking about the uh, HD video that people are going to be downloading to these devices. I mean, it's just insane how much bandwidth they're going to be consuming. Exactly. And it's the idea of having consuming it fast and having good service. And so we try to play in the, the, the market where it's uh, optimized and that the, the experience from the hardware point of view. And how do you optimize? Well, we, we test the radios. We also do the sweep the cables and antennas. And so basically we, we make sure that everything's working the optimal or, or if there's not a problem, then uh, that allows, that shows the uh, technicians and engineers there is a problem, they can go in there and fix it. And then they can, uh, from, a, from the base station perspective, they can optimize that experience. And there's a lot of other things involved as far as op, um, network, uh, well, pl network planning, optimization, but uh, we play in the, as far as the, on the, the, the hardware, the base station side of things. Now there's um, interference in the 700 megahertz frequencies. Is that an area where you also help with the testing? Yes, because we do also have handheld spectrum analyzers. So we are probably there are m many competitors, but we are we do play in that in that market also. So typically, it's uh, the spectrum clearing, the interference uh, analysis. That's um, they use what's called our spectrum master products, and they'll take those out in the field to troubleshoot those problems. Um, and then later on, then they get into more of the optimizing of the network, but. To be honest, interference is really an ongoing thing. It's constant. Just because of all the different frequencies that are just coming, new devices and things like new that? New devices, or you just, uh, you just never know if somebody turns on. Uh, the, the thing I hear the most about is uh, when uh, uh, folks want to get better reception in the house, they buy some of those boosters. If they're not installed correctly, they cause interference problems. Oh, really? Yeah, so that seems to be one of uh, what I hear from a lot of vendors, and it's actually worldwide. From what under, so from what I keep hearing from everybody. Do they work? <laughs> they, <laughs> if they're installed properly, I've, they can. I've tried a couple of them, <laughs> and, they, and they haven't worked for me, but I'm sure I uh, screwed up the networks <laughs> for the carriers while I was, was experimenting. Yeah, but I've done a few tests, and I, I've never seen any okay. improvement. Well, I haven't tried it myself. But <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to get in trouble. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, I understand fully. Yeah. Maybe I should take um, <laughs> some of your testing equipment your booth's right over there, and then walk around the show and try, try some of the boosters. There you go. There's maybe <laughs> something, if I have free time exactly. tomorrow, I could do that. <laughs> yep. So um, what's the biggest challenge facing uh, operators as they move to LTE? I, I think it's basically, it's just, um, 
I, I think it's the same things as before, getting uh, the sites, you're, you're optimizing for a different frequency. Luckily, for, at 700, you can have better penetration. Um, it's also the expected data uh, experience by the user, I think, because uh, you, know, you can have really high speeds with uh, LTE, but it's, you have to have uh, optimal conditions for that to happen. So I think that the farther you get away from the, from the site, it's going to have lower data speed. So it's basically, I think, uh, um, ha just I, I think it's just a per perception of how good is the service going to be for everybody, and what speeds are going to be basically, for better word, uh, guaranteed or or, or uh, estimated to be out there. And what's next for the company? For us, where is moving forward? Uh, we we do have. I can't talk specifically, but we do have new products that uh, we'll be uh, releasing later in the year. Uh, there's uh, running different parts of the gamut as far as uh, where, where we're going to play and we're real excited going forward. So we're constantly developing new products and uh, constantly introducing things. So typically, uh, annually, we'll have a couple different product releases. So very excited, looking forward. Well, we'll be watching closely on the program and also congratulations on the big win with Verizon. Well, thank you very much. Very excited for that. You're welcome. Thanks. Take care.